Welcome to this, hopefully, informative flight around the Cairo area in Egypt. This is a newish feature of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, called Discovery Flights. I've looked up some information about all the points of interest I fly over, so let me be your virtual tour guide as well as your pilot. The Giza Pyramid Complex, also called the Giza Necropolis, is the site on the Giza Plateau the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of Khafra, and the Pyramid of Menkore, along with their associated pyramid complexes and the Great Sphinx of Giza. All were built during between 2600 and 2500 BC. The Great Pyramid and the Pyramid of Khafra are the largest pyramids built in ancient Egypt. The Great Pyramid was listed as one of the seven wonders of the world. It is by far the oldest of the ancient wonders and the only one still in existence. The Great Sphinx of Giza, commonly referred to as the Sphinx of Giza or just the Sphinx, is a limestone statue of a reclining Sphinx, a mythical creature. Facing directly from west to east, it stands on the Giza Plateau on the west bank of the Nile River. The face of the Sphinx appears to represent the Pharaoh Khafra. Cut from the bedrock, the original shape of the Sphinx has been restored with layers of limestone blocks. It measures 73 meters long from paw to tail, 20 meters high from the base to the top of the head and 19 meters wide at its rear haunches. It is the oldest known monumental sculpture in Egypt and one of the most recognizable statues in the world. The archaeological evidence suggests that it was created by ancient Egyptians of the Old Kingdom during the reign of Khafra. Cairo is the capital city of Egypt. It is also the largest city in the country. The Cairo metropolitan area has a population of about 21.3 million people, whilst the city itself houses around 9 million. Cairo was founded in 969 AD and is located near the Nile Delta. The city is sometimes called the City of a Thousand Minarets because of the abundance of Islamic architecture. Cairo has an extensive road network, rail system, subway system and maritime services. Road transport is facilitated by personal vehicles, taxi cabs, privately owned public buses and Cairo microbuses. Cairo, specifically Ramses Station, is the center of almost the entire Egyptian transportation network. The subway system, officially called Metro, is a fast and efficient way of getting around Cairo. The subway network covers Hillwan and other suburbs. It can get very crowded during rush hour. Trams in Greater Cairo and Cairo trolleybuses were used as modes of transportation, but were closed in the 1970s and everywhere except Heliopolis and Hilwan. These were shut down in 2014. An extensive road network connects Cairo with other Egyptian cities and villages. There is a new ring road that surrounds the outskirts of the city, with exits that reach outer Cairo districts. There are flyovers and bridges that, when the traffic is not heavy, allow fast means of transportation from one side of the city to the other. The Sahara Desert, to the right, is the largest hot desert in the world with an area of 9.2 million square kilometer. The Sahara is mainly rocky stone plateaus. So-called sand seas, large areas covered with sand dunes, form only a minor part of the desert, but many of the dunes are over 180 meters high. The desert features are shaped by wind and the occasional, rare, rainfall. The sky is usually clear above the desert, and the sunshine duration is extremely high everywhere in the Sahara. Most of the desert has more than 3,600 hours of bright sunshine per year. The average high temperature exceeds 38 to 40 degrees Celsius during the hottest month, except at very high altitudes. Sand and ground temperatures are even more extreme. During daytime, the sand temperature is extremely high, it can easily reach 80 degrees Celsius. The Pyramid of Djoser, or Steppe Pyramid, is an archaeological site in the Saqqara Necropolis. The six-tier, four-sided structure is the earliest colossal stone building in Egypt. It was built in the 27th century BC for the burial of Pharaoh Djoser. 
The pyramid is the central feature of a vast mortuary complex in an enormous courtyard surrounded by ceremonial structures and decoration. The superstructure of the step pyramid is six steps and was built in six stages, as might be expected with an experimental structure. The pyramid began as a square mastaba-like structure, which was gradually enlarged, first evenly on all four sides, and later just on the east side. The mastaba was built up in two stages, first to form a four-step structure, and then to form a six-step structure, which now had a rectangular base on an east-west axis. The fact that the initial mastaba was square has led many to believe that the monument was never meant to be a mastaba, as no other known mastabas had ever been square. Under the step pyramid is a labyrinth of tunneled chambers and galleries that total nearly 6 kilometers in length and connect to a central shaft 7 meters square and 28 meters deep. These spaces provide room for the king's burial, the burial of family members, and the storage of goods and offerings. The entrance to the 28 meter shaft was built on the north side of the pyramid, a trend that would remain throughout the old kingdom. The sides of the underground passages are limestone inlaid with blue faience tile to replicate reed matting. An extensive network of underground galleries was located to the north, west and south of the central burial chamber. In Cairo, and along the Nile River Valley, the climate is a hot desert climate. Wind storms can be frequent from March to May and the air often becomes uncomfortably dry. High temperatures in winter range from 14 to 22 degrees Celsius, while nighttime lows drop to below 11, often to 5 degrees. In summer, the highs rarely surpass 40 degrees, and lows drop to about 20 degrees. Rainfall is sparse and only happens in the colder months, but sudden showers can cause severe flooding. The summer months have high humidity due to its coastal location. Dew points in the hottest months range from 13.9 degrees Celsius in June to 18.3 degrees Celsius in August. According to the World Health Organization, the level of air pollution in Cairo is nearly 12 times higher than the recommended safety level. The Nile Delta is the delta formed in Lower Egypt where the Nile River spreads out and drains into the Mediterranean Sea. It is one of the world's largest river deltas, from Alexandria and the west to Port Said in the east, it covers 240 kilometers of Mediterranean coastline and is a rich agricultural region. From north to south the delta is approximately 160 kilometers in length. The delta begins slightly downriver from Cairo. The Greek historian Herodotus wrote that Egypt was the gift of the Nile. An unending source of sustenance, it played a crucial role in the development of Egyptian civilization. Because the river overflowed its banks annually and deposited new layers of silt, the surrounding land was very fertile. The ancient Egyptians cultivated and traded wheat, flax, papyrus and other crops around the Nile. Wheat was a crucial crop in the famine-plagued Middle East. This trading system secured Egypt's diplomatic relationships with other countries and contributed to economic stability. Far-reaching trade has been carried on along the Nile since ancient times. A tune, Hymn to the Nile, was created and sung by the ancient Egyptian peoples about the flooding of the Nile River and all of the miracles it brought to ancient Egyptian civilization. The Nile was also an important part of ancient Egyptian spiritual life. Hapi was the god of the annual floods, and both he and the pharaoh were thought to control the flooding. The Nile was considered to be a causeway from life to death in the afterlife. The East was thought of as a place of birth and growth, and the West was considered the place of death, as the god Ra, the sun, underwent birth, death, and resurrection each day as he crossed the sky. Thus, all tombs were west of the Nile, because the Egyptians believed that in order to enter the afterlife, they had to be buried on the side that symbolized death.
As the Nile was such an important factor in Egyptian life, the ancient calendar was based on the three cycles of the Nile. These seasons, each consisting of four months of 30 days each, were called Ayat, Peret, and Shemu. Ahet, which means inundation, was the time of the year when the Nile flooded, leaving several layers of fertile soil behind, aiding in agricultural growth. Peret was the growing season, and Shemu, the last season, was the harvest season. The Nile has long been used to transport goods along its length. Winter winds blow south, upriver, so ships could sail upriver using the winds and downriver using the flow of the river. While most Egyptians still live in the Nile Valley, the 1970 completion of the Aswan High Dam ended the summer floods and their renewal of the fertile soil, fundamentally changing farming practices. The Nile supports much of the population living along its banks, enabling Egyptians to live in otherwise inhospitable regions of the Sahara. The river's flow is disturbed at several points by the cataracts of the Nile, which are sections of faster flowing water with many small islands, shallow water, and rocks, which form an obstacle to navigation by boats. Nile cities include Khartoum, Aswan, Luxor, and the Giza, Cairo Conurbation. The first cataract, the closest to the mouth of the river, is at Aswan, north of the Aswan Dam. This part of the river is a regular tourist route, with cruise ships and traditional wooden sailing boats known as Falukas. Many cruise ships ply the route between Luxor and Aswan, stopping at Edfu and Kamambo along the way. I could not find any definite information on this tiny 250 meters runway. It is close to Mahdi Military Hospital, which suggests that medical flights might land here. Cairo, as well as neighboring Giza, has been established as Egypt's main center for medical treatment, and despite some exceptions, has the most advanced level of medical care in the country. Greater Cairo has long been the hub of education and educational services for Egypt and the region. Today, Greater Cairo is the center for many government offices governing the Egyptian educational system, has the largest number of educational schools, and higher education institutes among other cities and governorates of Egypt. The Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research is one of the governmental bodies of Egypt and part of the cabinet. The major function of the ministry, based in Cairo is to introduce, develop and monitor all the higher education related policies. The ministry is responsible for the educational activity in Egyptian universities, both public and private. The ministry realizes this function through three executive bodies, namely the Supreme Council of Universities, the Supreme Council of Private Universities and the Supreme Council of Technical Institutions. The Cairo Tower is a freestanding concrete tower in Cairo. 
At 187 meters, it is the tallest structure in Egypt. One of Cairo's well-known modern monuments, sometimes considered Egypt's second most famous landmark after the Pyramids of Giza, it stands in the Jazeera district on Jazeera Island in the River Nile, close to downtown Cairo. The Museum of Egyptian Antiquities, known commonly as the Egyptian Museum or the Cairo Museum, is home to an extensive collection of ancient Egyptian antiquities. It has 120,000 items, with a representative number on display and the remainder in storerooms. Al Rafai Mosque is located in Midden Al Allah, adjacent to the Cairo Citadel. The building is located opposite the Mosque Madraso of Sultan Hassan, which dates from around 1361, and was architecturally conceived as a complement to the older structure. This was part of a vast campaign by the 19th century rulers of Egypt to both associate themselves with the perceived glory of earlier periods in Egypt's Islamic history and modernize the city. The mosque was constructed next to two large public squares and off of several European-style boulevards constructed around the same time. To the left is Al-Azhar Park, a public park listed as one of the world's 60 great public spaces by the Project for Public Spaces. The City of the Dead, or Cairo Necropolis, is a series of vast Islamic-era necropolises and cemeteries. They extend to the north and to the south of the Cairo Citadel, below the Mokatam Hills and outside the historic city walls, covering an area roughly 6.5 kilometers long. They are included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Historic Cairo. The necropolis that makes up the city of the dead has been developed over many centuries and contains both the graves of Cairo's common population as well as the elaborate mausoleums of many of its historical rulers and elites. Heliopolis was a suburb outside Cairo, which has since merged with Cairo as a district of the city and is one of the more affluent areas of the city. It was established in 1905 by the Heliopolis Oasis Company headed by the Belgian industrialist Edouard and Payne and by Bagos Nubar, son of the Egyptian Prime Minister Nubar Pasha. It is the location of the Cairo International Airport. The population of Heliopolis is estimated at around 145,000 individuals. Cairo International Airport is the principal international airport of Cairo and the busiest airport in Egypt and serves as the primary hub for Egypt Air and Nile Air as well as several other airlines. The airport is located in Heliopolis, to the northeast of Cairo around 15 kilometers from the business area of the city and has an area of approximately 37 square kilometers. It is the second busiest airport in Africa after O or Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg. The terminal facilities include Departure Hall 1, International Hall 3, and Hall 4 for private and non-commercial aircraft services. As part of the recent upgrading and facility improvement scheme, the CAA to demolish the old Hall 3, previously used for domestic arrivals and departures, to reconstruct a new hall to be used for international arrivals. Terminal 1 is locally known as the Old Airport, although its facilities were recently given a complete overhaul and are newer than those of Terminal 2, which is still known as the New Airport.
There are three runways and a single cargo terminal. The third runway opened in 2010. Runway 5 right is 3,999 meters long, 5 left has a length of 3,301 meters and runway 5 center, where we will be landing, is 4,000 meters in length. This landing might not be as smooth as you are used to. Oh well, any landing you can walk away from, right? I hope you enjoyed the flight, and perhaps you even learned something about the city of Cairo. See you next time.